My name's Tira Arno, and I'm building a colorful igloo at the Hay River sign. I originally did it last year for Arctic Winter Games, and this year somebody else confronted me and asked if I would do it again and offered to help. So he was here earlier peeling cartons for me, and uh, he's offered to come out again here in the next few days. So it's nice to see somebody else like, enjoyed it too last year and wanted to see it again. My sister's husband's quite competitive, and uh, and he had asked, or he had said that I couldn't build a better one than him, so uh, so I decided to do mine for Arctic Winter Games. And uh, I mean, it, not that it was better, I just think that it got a lot more publicity and it was seen more around the world than his was. Oh, there's snow built up on it, so I'm just cutting it off. I got all these bricks by freezing water and food coloring, and uh, it took me about probably three weeks to freeze 600 milk cartons. You want to have extras just in case uh, some break or crack or... You never know. It's always good to have extras when you start building something. I've had a few, like maybe one or two people help me clean on an occasional night, but other than that, it was mostly me. By the time I'm done this, it'll be spring, I'm sure. <laughs> Stuff will start to melt. I chose the colors because uh, somebody Somebody had, I had asked somebody what colors they wanted and they said purple and I thought, well, green and purple would be nice. It would be kind of like Northern Lights color. So, a little, something different this year. I'm gonna put a light in here when I'm done and uh, let it shine at night and people will be able to see it from the highway when they drive into town. Even in the daytime when you put your head inside of it, it, uh, it almost looks like stained glass with all the colors and the sun shining through. I'm just kind of curving it in as I go and I use the plywood as a frame to, uh, as a guide to guide me to make the perfect arch. Like I've seen other people build them where they didn't have the frame and they kind of get a point at the top. So it's just kind of a guide to, to make sure you, you get it nice and round. Um, I'm hoping to get some of the snow cleared around it so that you can see it a little better. I got to learn how to use a chainsaw last year. <laughs> so sometimes when you get around, Around this row, you need a smaller piece, a half a brick or something, so you got to cut the brick in half. I mean, you can use a handsaw, but it is a lot easier to use a chainsaw. Cutting the door, you use a chainsaw. Last year, I put AWG 2018 in the side of the igloo, so uh, there was a lot of cutting to make those letterings, cutting of the bricks, and I used the chainsaw for that. It shows community spirit and stuff like that, and people really enjoy seeing that in a small town, especially in the north, the winters are long. People enjoy seeing others get out and active and stuff like that and they enjoy coming down to have a look and check it out and offer help sometimes and it's nice to see. I'm thinking this would probably take about uh, maybe two, three weeks to complete just because I only have an hour or so in the evening to work on it. I mean if I was going full out all day I could probably get it done a lot faster but work and kids come first most times. <laughs> I think it'll last until uh, probably the middle of March, maybe. I think people really enjoy looking at this and, and seeing it and coming out and bringing the kids to see it and getting pictures with it. And I know people have told me last from last year that uh, they took pictures of other people with it, but not themselves. So they're looking forward to coming out and getting a picture of themselves with it. I'm not sure how long I'll do this for. Um, it is quite a bit of work for sure. So I think next year, if somebody else wanted to do it, that would be great. <laughs> somebody confronts me again, I'm hard to say no to people. <laughs> That's my trouble, I can never say no.